Hi, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will try to understand that how we can visualize the docking data. The visual analysis of the docking data is very important to see at which side our ligand is going to bind with our receptor and what type of the interactions are formed by the ligand with the receptor. Now, the visual analysis of the docking data is considered to be a complicated job. But we promise you, at the end of this tutorial, you will find it out that a very, very super duper easy job. So let's begin the tutorial. Assume this is a receptor molecule which we have used during the docking analysis. By using the autodoc vena or simple vena or CB doc or any other docking software. And assume this is the best ligand docking pose which we have obtained. Hopefully, you will have a good idea that what does it mean by the best docking pose. Normally, the best docking pose is a pose which is going to have a minimum vena score or minimum energy value. We have discussed about this phenomena in our previous tutorials. You can watch them. The links are given in the description below. Now, the very first step in the visual analysis of the docking data is to open the receptor molecules in the pi mole. So let's double click on it. So this is our receptor molecule. Let's change the shape of the receptor molecule to the cartoon. So you can see it here. This is our receptor molecule. Now let's open the best docked pose of our ligand. Let's click on this file, then open, and then click on this best ligand docking pose. You can see it here. This is our best docking pose. Let's zoom out the structure. You can see it here. This is a docking position of ligand with our protein. You can change the shape of the ligands and the protein by using this buttons which are present here in the pi mole. But right now, this is not a topic of our discussion. And the next step, we need to save both receptor and the ligand in a complex form. To save them, let's click on the file and then click on the save molecule. Select the both receptor and the ligand and click OK and then give a name, for example, complex and click on the save button. Now, our molecule in the complex form is saved. Now, both receptor and the ligands are saved in a complex form. Now, this is a time to visualize that how our ligand is bounded with the receptor. To visualize that how our ligand is bounded with the receptor, we need to download a one software. And this software is Lig Plus. To install this software, we will just Google Lig Plus. And then we will click on this first page. Here it is a main website for the Lig Plus or the Lig Plot. First, you need to click on this academic lessons and you have to provide your credentials. For example, your name, the last name, the name of institution and academic email ID. So let's provide them. And let's click on this. I have read and accept the lessons terms and click on this accept button. After the registration, you will receive a one confirmation email along with the password. Now you have to use your email address and the password to download the leak plot in your system. So let's use our email ID and as well as the password which we have received shortly. So let me type here my email ID and the password which I have received and let's click on this download button. 
Now keep into mind that this license will be valid for one year. So you have to renew your license after one year. So let's click on this download button. And when we will click on this download button, the downloading begin soon. As you can see it here, the League Plus is now downloading into our system. It may take some time depending upon your internet connection speed. So League Plus is downloaded in our system. As you can see it here, this is in a zip folder, so we have to unzip it. So let's right click on it and extract to League Plus. So this is a League Plus. Let's click on it and then on the subfolder. And now here you have this League Plus. And you can see it here that League Plus is basically developed in Java. So you have to enable the Java in your system to use the League Plus. So once you have a Java in your system, you will have a League Plus sign like this. Now double click on it. And when we first time double click on it, then this message will pop up in front of you. Click on this OK. And then here you need to provide the path, the executable path for either a PyMall or the REST mall if you want to visualize the ligand and the receptor interaction in a three-dimensional form. Right now in our system, we have a PyMall and that PyMall is installed in a C drive. So let's find out the path of the PyMall in the C drive. So let's move into the C drive as you can see it here. Click on it. And the PyMall is normally installed in the program files. So let's move to the program files and let's search the PyMall. And you can see here, there's a PyMall folder in the program files. Let's click on it. And here is the PyMall files. Now among these PyMol files, we need the exe file. How you will find out the exe file? Click on this one. Now this is a path for the PyMol folder where the PyMol files are installed. Then type the backslash. And then these are all files which are present here in the PyMol folder. Among these files, you need to search pymol win.exe then copy this path and move to the leak plus now here paste the pymol executable path which you have copied previously then click on the save button click ok and now your leak plot is ready to handle your complex file. Now click on this file, then open, then PDB file, and then browse here your complex file which you have generated previously. Currently, our complex file is our docking folder, PDB files, this is our complex file. So then click on this one. The leak plot has detected that there is a one non-proteinous part present in the complex file, which is named unknown. So leak plot automatically detected it that that non-proteinous part could be the ligand. Now you need to click on this run button. When you will click on this run button, then after a few moments, the leak plot process your complex file and will highlight the ligand and the amino acid residues in your protein structure which could be potentially involved in binding with your ligand as you can see it here now here these ion ashes are indicating the hydrophobic interaction with your ligand this purple one is your ligand and these green one are the amino acid residues which are having a hydrogen bonds with the ligand you can also see the distance of the hydrogen bond with the ligand and as well as the amino acid residues from the receptor. 
Now, if you want to visualize this interaction in a three-dimensional form, in this case, you need to click on this pi mole button. When you will click on this pi mole button, then after a few moments, the pi mole window will appear in front of you, as you can see it here. Now, here you can find it out the ligand and the amino acid residues which are interacting with the ligand in the three dimensional form. Now you can change the color of the ligand and the amino acids which are present in the three dimensional structure. And you can also take the snapshot to paste them into your publication or the report. Now to change the color of the ligand, you need to click on this S button. When you will click on this S, so then you are going to have these things. Now you can select the amino acids which are around the ligand like this and you can change them color by right clicking on them and then moving to the color and then let's assume the selecting a green here. As you can see it here, all of the amino acids which are interacting either making a hydrophobic interactions or the hydrogen bonds they are turned to the green here. Now you can also uh, do the number of things here with this three dimensional structure. We hope so that this tutorial will be informative for you for understanding the ligand and the receptor.